Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Carburetor Parts. Um, I have this Rochester 4Jet here. It's a four-barrel four carburetor, and I got a customer that's got a whistling problem uh, when it's and it doesn't idle good. Well, that's pretty indicative of a uh, vacuum leak. And uh, the, where I've had trouble with these things is right here, where the throttle body hooks to the main body, and um, usually it's because uh, I put on the wrong gasket. Uh, because it's uh, like, uh, let's see, this kit that comes with this carburetor has got like three different gaskets and you got to get the one that fits and so if you put this gasket on here um, I can tell you it's the wrong gasket and you can see what it does right here that's a vacuum leak right there it's it's not going to seal right here so we know that's the wrong gasket okay so uh, now this happened to have the old gasket on there fortunately so I look at this old one and I see what it's covering up. Now it doesn't cover these holes here. Well, it doesn't need to because these holes don't go through. These are just casting holes. Okay, the important ones, uh, even this hole here and this one here, doesn't have to be covered up. Okay, so the important ones, you don't want these to get covered. And generally when you have a deal like this where the, there's a slot going around, uh, generally you only need one hole uncovered. Uh, this one happens to have one here and one there, but a lot of times you'll only see uh, see one. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. There is a hole here, but it doesn't need to be there. Okay, so that's not a big deal. Okay, so there you go. And the kit that belongs to this one is here, and the gaskets are uh, slightly different. Just a little bit different design, as you can see. Uh, but that's okay because it still matches up all the holes. Uh, if anything, it's covering up a little more around the edges. So this is the correct gasket for this. So now, um, if he has a correct gasket on, then uh, what, el what else could be a, the making a whistle? Well, first of all, make sure the surface is clean. Um, make sure there's no tears in the gasket, of course. And one thing you want to look for on here is um, there's some little clean-out aluminum plugs. Right here is one, a very small one. You want to be sure those haven't fallen out. I've had that happen, at least in our ultrasonic cleaner. It, it uh, um, I, I, want, I don't want to say rattle loose, but uh, the ultrasonic cleaner made them kit loose and, and they'll pop out. Now, if one of these was missing, it would definitely leak vacuum. And see, there's one there. Um, there's none around here that I can see, uh, but you do want to take special notice of these holes here that are not covered and make sure there's for some reason there's not something broken or, or you know going through to cause a vacuum leak so inspect this real close so we assumed here that we sprayed carburetor cleaner around this while it was idling and uh, the whistle went away which means this is leaking right here okay so I guess uh, the other possibility of course would be a warped throttle body which is not likely because they're cast iron and they're very heavy but again look for uh, some some uh, problem that might cause a leak uh, such as you know a little gas material left on it somewhere or something like that so the same thing on the bottom now in this case uh, we don't think the bottom was a problem but um, you look at your gasket this is the correct gasket for this and I know it is because it covers everything it should. Doesn't have to cover this hole. This isn't a, a vacuum leak, so to speak. And so there you go. I don't have the old gasket on this one, but uh, let's see. Can it go either way? I don't think it matters on this one. So there you go. That's the correct gasket. Anyhow, I just thought I'd point that out. So if you got a vacuum leak, uh, uh, that's something you can look at. Thank you.